Is this Harrison? It seems as though you and my daughter are a thing. Good evening. Are you Sabrina's father, Hugo? Yes, that's right. I'm Harrison, Sabrina's boyfriend. May I help you? It's not that I need anything from you. It's just that you lack a little common sense, don't you? Huh? Um, did I do something rude? I got your contact from my wife's phone. I didn't realize you were sneaking around texting with her before you came to formally meet us. Don't you think that's rude? No. Your wife has been kind to me like her own son since Sabrina and I started dating in college. We exchanged contacts and have been in contact with each other ever since. The reason we are talking secretly is because I was asking her for advice on a souvenir. I heard that you are very particular about food, so... I admire your spirit, but... I don't approve of you sneaking around with my wife. I understand. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. I really don't think I can let a thoughtless man like you marry Sabrina. By the way, about the meet and greet, your parents are coming too, right? No, I was going to come alone. What? You really don't have any common sense, do you? My mother is busy with work, so I don't think she'll be able to come. What about your father? It's just the two of us. My father isn't around. I see, a mother and her child. If that's the case, it makes sense. Okay, now I get it. What? What do you mean? Anyway, if you want to do the greetings, be sure to bring your mother. All the parents will be here on our side. It'll be rude for your parents not to come. I could never condone such a thing. Okay, I see. I'll talk to my mother about it. Sabrina, I'm sorry. Today's wedding greeting, I'll be the only one to greet your parents at first. What's wrong? Your mother was supposed to come with you, right? There was some trouble at work, and she got called in to deal with it. Oh my god. If your mother's going there, there must have been a lot of trouble. She's planning to come even if she's late. So I'm sorry, but could you tell your parents that as well? And also tell them I'm sorry, especially to your father. Please be polite. Okay, that's fine. Besides, originally you were supposed to come alone. But my father insisted your busy mother make time. It's not like you have a choice. I'll take care of him, so don't worry about it. Thank you. I'll be at the Japanese restaurant I have a reservation at 11.30 as planned. Okay, have a safe trip. Hey there, poor guy who grew up in a single parent home. How does it feel to be slapped with a wad of cash? This is what happens when you cheekily say you want to marry my daughter. What on earth do you think you're doing? As soon as I enter the private room of the restaurant, you slap me back and forth with a wad of bills. By the way, that wad of cash was $50,000. Did you go out of your way just to get that much money together? Oh, give me a break. Do you think that's a lot of money? It's interesting to see the sensibility of a poor person, isn't it? 
A loser like you will never see that much money. You should be grateful to me. I'm not grateful, but I'm angry. I know you're Sabrina's father, but I can't take this kind of humiliation. I don't remember anyone I've ever met going that far. What on earth did I do to you? I just sent you a message. I would never give my precious daughter to a poor man who grew up in a single parent home. There is no doubt that I grew up in a single parent home. My mother is a good earner, and we have never been in a situation where money was a problem. Can you please stop insulting me by assuming that we are poor? That's just something you don't realize. It's common knowledge that a single parent home equals poor. It's just that your sense of poverty is numb. The fact that you called $50,000 a lot of money makes it obvious that you are poor. People at my level sometimes spend $100,000 in our daily lives. In other words, our Sabrina's values are in a whole different class. I can't allow her to get married to you. Above all, I don't want her to be taken advantage of because she accidentally got married to a poor man. That's the kind of thing you have to nip in the bud. But that doesn't mean you should do that to the fiancé who came to greet you. I didn't recognize you as a fiancé. That's why I greeted you the way I did. I thought you had no common sense from the start. It figures because you're from a single parent home. That brazenness with no sense of status. It really bugs me. You think I can marry my daughter off to a poor man who grew up in a single parent home? Don't make me say the same thing over and over again. You know what? A son raised by a mother who is late for the wedding greeting is not a good thing. I was actually gonna tell you how miserable mothers and sons are in society. You are the most insane parent and son I could have ever imagined that you would be late to the party. As you probably heard from Sabrina, this time it was a work-related problem and I had no choice but to... I just received a call a few minutes ago that she will be arriving soon. What kind of a fiasco did your mother have to go through to be called all the way to the office? That's not what I meant. Whatever it is, I don't approve you marrying my daughter. Speaking of which, where did you go after that? The restaurant lent us a private room they had available, and that's where we are now. I see. You're still in the restaurant. Then hurry up and come and get it. Get what? That $50,000 from before. If you leave my daughter, I'll give you that $50,000. Well, it's called a severance package. $50,000 is a lot of money for a guy like you. You could work for a year and still not make that much. That's what you'll get right away. I imagine a guy like you would jump at the chance. Excuse me for a moment. My mother has just arrived. I'd like to talk to her. Sorry to keep you waiting. I just spoke with my mother. What, a poor mother and her child were torn between their desire for $50,000 and their paltry pride? Let me ask you just to be sure. Are you sure you want me to break up with your daughter? 
My mother and I are going to come and visit you again now. Oh, wow. I knew you'd decide to accept the 50,000. A poor man's pride is just like this. You should have picked someone worthy of you from the beginning. What a mistake you made. How can a poor man marry my daughter? I'll give you $50,000. Leave my daughter now. Get the hell out of our lives. Don't regret it later. Huh? Harrison! Wait! Please! No way! I can't believe your mother! The president of our company! I thought she was just a someone else with the same last name! Harrison! I'll allow you to marry Sabrina! Give me a chance to plead my case to your mother! I mean, the boss! Harrison! I said I'll let you marry Sabrina! Answer me! Dad? Oh, Sabrina! Where are you now? At an important time when your own marriage is at stake. I've been with Harrison. What? And also with Harrison's mother. Oh, I see. Sabrina, please. Tell Harrison to answer my message. Also, tell him to come back soon with his mother. I'll allow him to marry you. Let's start the meeting over. Why are you talking so high and mighty? What? Don't you realize you are in a very bad position? Or are you aware of it, but you are trying to escape reality? This is not the time to be talking about whether you approve of my marriage or not, Dad. You know you are in a bad position socially, don't you? Sabrina? The reason I didn't tell you about Harrison's mother beforehand is because I felt your condescending attitude was dangerous. Dangerous? If I told you beforehand that Harrison's mother was the president of your company, I'm sure you would have gone into full-on ass-kissing mode. Of course, it's my boss. That's why I didn't tell you. Huh? When you started forcing Harrison to bring his mother, I knew you had a bad habit of looking down on people. I dared to let that go and thought I'd found out by your attitude today, the day of the greeting. But I never thought you'd slap him back and forth with the water bills. I didn't see that coming. And as your daughter, I'm ashamed. I feel sorry for Harrison and his mother. Oh no, Sabrina! You're not behaving like a daughter speaking ill of your father. I don't care what you think. It's you, father, who's not behaving well. That $50,000 is the money mom received from her grandfather's inheritance, isn't it? What? I know you and mom know each other's PIN numbers in case of an emergency. But that doesn't mean you can withdraw the money without permission. No, we are a couple. No, you can't do that. I mean, it's not your money, and you slap him back and forth with that wad of cash and talk to him like it's a severance package. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Um, where's your...
your pride. Um... Are you stupid? Oh... Um... After dating Harrison and getting to know his mother, who is the president of the company, I've come to understand. Rich people take better care of their money. It's only natural since they are the ones who do business by paying attention to every penny. That's why $50,000 is a lot of money in the eyes of Harrison's mother. She says she despises people who slap other people with it. I agree. Sabrina! Don't talk back to your father! A father who calls himself elite. But our family is middle class at best. You're bragging to Harrison like a big shot about spending $100,000. You mean the home you built with a loan, right? And it's in mom's name. That's enough! I understand already! Oh, really? I could go on forever about you. Well, I'm glad I got to say what I wanted to say. I think we'll be able to part our ways now. What? You're gonna cut ties with your own father? I told you I'd found out how you would behave today. I can't stand the fact that I'm your daughter, so I'm cutting off all ties with you. And then? Harrison will be requesting reimbursement for medical bills and compensation as well. And I'm sure you'll get a bill for lost time from work. Huh? What the hell is that? When he fell down after being slapped back and forth by you, he hurt his wrist and fingers supporting himself. Huh? He was being treated at the hospital while we are texting. Harrison does delicate technical work and mainly uses his hands, and he's going to have to take some time off work for a few weeks. Wait, wait! Then why was he texting earlier? If he hurt his fingers, he can't type. Oh, Dad, I was the one typing. Huh? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't notice. I was typing what Harrison wanted to say on his behalf and communicating with you. Excuse me? So, I was shocked to see what a terrible person you are. The last sentence, please don't regret it. I sent on impulse. Your attitude was so despicable. I thought you should be socially sanctioned and hurt. No, that was... I'm gonna take Harrison home and go straight back to my apartment. Sabrina! Oh, and make sure you give the $50,000 back to Mom. Harrison! Please, can you take this up with the president? If you don't, I'll be demoted! My wife will divorce me too! I told you I'd let you marry Sabrina, didn't I? Come on, please! Harrison? Hey, I'm really begging you! Please! Sabrina? Oh, Harrison? Oh, yeah, I guess you're all better about now. Ah, uh, I can type on my phone smoothly, and I'd say I'm fully recovered. It looks like I'll be able to work again. That's great. Sorry about my dad. 
Oh, I made a mistake. The guy that was my dad. Don't apologize, Sabrina. If my injury set you free, it's a small price to pay. Anyway, I heard your parents are in divorce proceedings. Have they separated already? Yes, they have. My parents' house is in my mother's name, so she asked my father to move out. Do you mind if I ask what happened? You know, there was a settlement payment to get you to withdraw the damage report you filed. To get that money, he tried to withdraw it from my mother's account again. What? As you can imagine, my mother's patience had run out this time. After everything that had happened in the past, I guess it was the straw that broke the camel's back. I see. Actually, you know, at my mom's office, I told you the other day when we are meeting that she got called in for some trouble at work. Oh, I heard about the trouble too. They investigated and found that it was because of my father's mistake. So he was demoted from section chief to a rank and file employee. That's right. I'm an outsider, so I don't really know the details. But that's what I heard. He was so overbearing, but I wonder what's going on. He's my ex father, but I can only sigh. I'm sorry for your mother and you. Don't let it bother you, Sabrina. We've already broken ties, so don't worry about it. My mother says so too. I'm really fine. Thank you. By the way, I got the brochure of the wedding place we're talking about the other day. Oh, really? I want to see it. I'll bring it with me on our date tomorrow. I better jump in the shower. Oh, right. Me too. Well, good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Sabrina's parents divorced, and I received a lump sum settlement payment from her father. According to Sabrina's story, her father didn't have any savings, so I was wondering where the money came from. Apparently, he borrowed it from a shady loan service to pay it. After he was demoted to a regular employee, debt collectors started coming to the company. He was finally fired. After that, he worked part time to make ends meet. But due to poverty and hard work, he has lost a lot of weight and is now in a state of utter disrepair. On the other hand, Sabrina and I got married half a year later. We are enjoying our newlywed life. My mother 